A lot of very important matches were played over the weekend. Very, very important matches were played over the weekend. The types of matches that make or break seasons. Like the one that was played in Iceland. Were you not... You didn't watch it? Come on! I, I'll be honest. I actually feel kind of bad. I definitely should have told you guys about this beforehand so that maybe you could have tried to watch it, try, you know, tried to have participated in this. But instead, I am telling you about one of the most dramatic uh, football league situations that is going to go down in Europe all year, and I am telling you about it after it happened. So you can sue me. But... Don't sue me too much. I'm already in pain. I did run 22.4 miles yesterday. My legs, quite sore, very sore, but I'm ready for the marathon this weekend. I've been bullied into running enough. I've got like two more soft kind of jogging training runs left just to stay fresh for the marathon this weekend. And I'm very, you know, in, in, in a way, you guys are running the marathon more than I am because you're the ones that have bullied me into running so much it's actually leaked onto other platforms like instagram and tiktok and the main youtube channel as well i think twitter as well i've had people tweeting at me telling me to run um i don't know what you guys are going to want to do or how you guys are going to spend your time once i've finally run this marathon because then that means that you don't have to make me run anymore or if you just continue to attempt to force me to run until my legs fall off which it does kind of feel like they're about to fall off now Anyways, the Icelandic League has gotten a lot of better recently. Uh, if, if you hadn't noticed that, I don't blame you. But they have had teams make it into European group stages. Uh, and fairly recently, they actually had one of their teams win a match in a European group stage for the first time ever. That team was Vikinger Reykjavik. But amazingly, unlike a lot of leagues like this, where there is one team that is kind of blazing the trail ahead by itself... There are multiple teams involved in this. Viking or Reykjavik is not running away with the league title by 20 points. They were, in fact, going into this weekend, tied on points with a club called Breitablik. Uh, <clears throat> Breitablik. Nailed it. First try. Thank you, editor, for cutting that out. Now, a lot of the stuff on this comes from Nordic Footy, a friend of mine who appeared in the second episode of Hidden Grounds that we did in the Faroe Islands, because we both went there uh, to watch uh, the Faroese team play in the European group stage. And he found out some fabulously interesting things. Not only is he talking about Vikinger getting the first ever European group stage win for Iceland, but the fact that Breitablik, the other club that's involved in this incredibly dramatic final match, that they were the first ever Icelandic team to qualify for European group stage last year. Also, the past two seasons in Iceland were won by these two teams. Vikinger Reykjavik won the league last year. Two years ago, Breitablik managed to win the league. And then the ultimate awesome twist that was in another one of their tweets. Vikinger Reykjavik has to play its European matches at Breitablik's ground. They are both in Reykjavik. A lot of the clubs in the Icelandic League are in Reykjavik. Iceland is basically a one-city country. If you, if you know anything about Iceland, the vast majority of the population lives in Reykjavik. These two particular stadiums for Viking or Reykjavik and Breitablik are less than five kilometers apart. So we have like a literal Liverpool-Everton type situation between these two clubs. And Viking or Reykjavik has to play its European matches at Breitablik Stadium. So that first ever European win that was achieved by Viking or Reykjavik that was this huge, big, awesome thing, that happened at their rival's ground in the first place, which is just insane. Now, going into the final match day, Viking or Reykjavik had a better goal difference. They were sitting on a plus 38 goal difference while Breitablik was sitting on plus 29, which means that if it ends in a draw, Viking or Reykjavik is going to be the team that goes on to win the league for the second straight season, beating back Breitablik. And this final match would also be played at Viking or Reykjavik's home ground, which both of those things would kind of lean into the fact that last year's reigning champions would be favored to fend off their local rival and bring home a second straight title. In fact, according to Nordic Footy, they were actually building an extra stand of, uh, like out of pallets in order to accommodate the extra fans at the game, and the actual match itself was beyond awesome. And when you're wondering what an extra stand out of pallets actually looks like, huge shout out to Nordisk Football for actually getting a picture of this. They laid pallets out, like the sorts of pallets that you deliver things on, 
and just made them into a stand to support more fans being able to attend this match. And you gotta be a hearty soul to watch a match in this particular situation because it's cold, bro. It is minus one. I'm assuming that's Celsius in Reykjavik, but we're talking like high 20s Fahrenheit is what we're checking in at in Reykjavik for this match. There's the reason that the season is coming to an end now. There's a reason that they play a summer season in Iceland. It's Iceland. It's going to get cold. It's going to get cold instantly. And that, like, this is a freezing match at Viking or Reykjavik. They're bringing in the pallets. you got fans standing on the pallets ready for the game. But with it all set up and freezing, the land of ice and fire was ready for an actually wonderful final match in their top football league to decide the champion in late October. It just feels weird, doesn't it? But here were the scenes. And I just, I love this. I don't know how you couldn't love this. It's just a bunch of people standing on pallets in parkas in October, ready to watch their local club, Viking or Reykjavik, play for the championship of a country of 400,000 people. I, the, 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 oh, just what football is all about. I just love this stuff. I love that. If, if you couldn't tell, I absolutely love this stuff. We've got the pallets on the side of the main grandstand. We got some random dude strumming a guitar, singing into the Icelandic night. Ah. You live for these moments. I used to broadcast sports, right? I don't know if you guys knew that. That was my job before I started making YouTube videos. And I, I used to do play-by-play -play and, and be on TV and, and do the actual broadcasting of sports. And people would always, for some reason, they always ask you when you do that job and you say that's your job. People are like, well, what's your favorite sport to commentate? Because in the United States, there's a billion different sports that you could commentate. And I was a Swiss Army knife. I did basically all of them. Field hockey, wrestling, up the football, soccer, baseball, whatever. Um, and my answer is always a good one. You can watch a soccer match. You can watch a game of football. You can watch baseball. You can watch cricket. If it's a bad game and it's a blowout and, it, and it's boring, then I'd rather watch a really close and exciting field hockey game. You know, like I, that's the honest, the honest to goodness answer. And I feel the same way about like, you know, would I rather watch like a, a match between Nice and Toulouse. I, hopefully that's not a derby that I just don't know about. Or would I rather watch a match between Viking or Reykjavik and Brights of Bleak and a local derby to decide who is going to win the Icelandic? I'd rather watch the second one. Right? The stakes and knowing the story behind this stuff just makes it so much more awesome in the kind of super cool community aspect and the fact that it's freezing and the localized nature of the whole thing yeah well anyways they go into the actual match itself and bright to beak blows them out bright to bleak just crushes them three nil total bottle by viking or reykjavik who just won a european group stage match first ever icelandic team to do that shout out to thorvaldson for scoring uh, i believe the first two goals and then we had bjarnason who scored the third goal to give bright to bleak the icelandic league title don't know what happened to viking or reykjavik at all but bright to bleak has knocked viking or reykjavik off the top pedestal and reclaimed the title after viking or reykjavik won it last year this was the gold medal round after these two teams had split the two previous titles and had split the record-breaking performances in Europe, one qualifying for a group stage, one actually winning a match in a group stage. Maybe you could make the argument Viking or Reykjavik was distracted by the fact that they're, you know, competing at such a high level in Europe this year, but Bright to Bleak made them look like fools. And their traveling support, which granted, the easiest away day of all time, they were having a good time. There you go. These are the Brights of Bleak fans. I love how the the kind of drum and bada culture of South America has somehow made it all the way to like the northernmost point in the Atlantic you can possibly get to and have a football league in. But screw Arsenal Liverpool, all right? This was the coolest, you know, there was only one league being decided in a head-to-head -head match between two rivals five kilometers apart on the final day in Europe this weekend. And that's the match we all should have been watching. And shout out to Nordic Footy, actually, for, for kind of making me aware of it and staying on top of this stuff. But this was the best match this weekend, if in, if in name only, right? I, I guess Bright to Bleak did kind of pull away there in the second half. But all I can say is that next season, I will definitely be checking out that Icelandic league table just to see if Bright to Bleak and Viking or Reykjavik are back at each other's throats again.